Hey, I'm Mike, the sole developer of Exodus Borealis. I'm excited to share my first glimpse into my new society builder and tower defense game. All right, let's cue the amateurish video title. Nice. Okay, I just quit my corporate job of 15 years and I've spent the last four months cranking on my dream strategy game. What you will be seeing is early gameplay footage. Much of this game is still under development and subject to improvement. Okay, a brief background of the game. Even though I've chosen a marmot as my video persona, this has nothing to do with marmots. Using a small mammal as the basis of a society builder would just be stupid. Foxes. The game's based on a fox-like race. A big part of the game revolves around generational growth and humans live too damn long. Forced to flee their homeland, they seek refuge across the perilous northern sea. After a harrowing sail, they eventually crash land on an island. Fortunately, few have survived the journey. This new island is their sanctuary, a chance to rebuild and thrive, but nestled amongst the cliffs in the back sits a gate, clearly a warning to those who dare settle there. This is where you come into play. Your role is to strategically plan out the settlement of this island. You'll establish when and what structures are being built, assign jobs for the colonists to work, and slowly grow this small outpost into a full-blown society. There are key game systems to contend with, such as full day and night cycle, changing seasons, and corresponding weather for those seasons. As if surviving the elements wasn't enough, out of the aforementioned gates views a stream of hateful demons. These creatures have a single target in mind, allowing you to guide their path to your full advantage. As your colony grows in size, so does the onslaught of these hateful creatures. Only through smart design of a labyrinth for the invaders to navigate will you be able to apply the needed damage to stop them before they reach their target. In addition, through the use of rare gems mined from the ground, elemental properties can be applied to towers which will give unique effects. Elemental effects can be both synergized and dampened by other elemental effects. Likewise, only by taking advantage of these elemental synergies will you be able to contain the demon horde. Now, should you fail to stop the invaders allowing them past your defenses, they will seek and destroy their target, killing anyone inside. These targeted buildings are the foundation of your colony. Should enough of these be destroyed, this can result in a chain reaction, resulting in the collapse of society. Now let's look at a bit of gameplay. The user interface is well underway. I've gone for a minimalist design, which I think is highly readable and not too busy. There are a large amount of resource types as displayed in the upper right. These resources are used to build, upgrade, and produce from a large selection of buildings. The initial colony is small population, which limits the amount of work that can be done. In addition, there is a hierarchy of resources used to produce additional resources. In addition to the construction of the settlement, prioritizing what work is to be done will be essential for the colony's continued growth. You'll be pressed to reprioritize for immediate threats and balancing for future needs of the society. There are tools to aid you with this decision process. You can easily track where all your colonists are and what they are doing. In addition, you can use charts and graphs to track trends for things like population, food supplies, and resource production. Well, that's it. A first glimpse of Exodus Borealis. I'm playing a small internal alpha test in the spring with early access coming mid-summer. And if all goes well, then I'll have final release at the end of fall 2021. Let me know if you have any feedback, suggestions, or questions. Also, let me know if you're interested in something like a development blog or a longer let's play or preview of the game. I'm not doing any sort of Kickstarter or Patreon, but if you are interested in following how the game will progress, you can wishlist on Steam, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel, or you can go to smugmarmot.com and sign up for an email notification upon game release. Thanks for watching.